Welcome to Autumn Approved, a channel where we review all things that make parenting easier and also to see if my daughter Autumn approves. If you are in search of a Disneyland stroller, then your search is over. The Lartel Coast is it. It weighs about 21 pounds, which is pretty lightweight, but it is a full-size stroller. As you can see, it comes standard with a snack tray and it does fold up compactly. As you can see here, it won't take up a lot of space in your trunk, so that's already a plus. In this photo, it's being compared to the Cybex BZ, which is just as small as a menu folded up. In the next couple of photos, you'll see that we've loaded up the handlebars using mommy hooks. I have two backpacks, a parent console, her balloon, some drinks, and she's not even sitting in it and there's no sign of it tipping at all. And here, because the trams aren't in service right now, we are walking toward Disneyland. You can see how we've loaded up the stroller. My daughter is sitting inside it with the adjustable leg rest. She's kind of sleepy. Um, but we do have a cooler in the basket, her fan, some jackets, and there's still a lot of space in there. What I really like about this stroller is that it has a true lay flat. So in this photo you see my daughter is taking a nap and we have it reclined all the way. You can also do a quick diaper change in there if needed. There is a handle that reclines the seat, which I like because it reclines it gently. So if your child is sleeping, it doesn't startle them awake when you begin to recline the seat. Overall, this stroller exceeded my expectations for Disneyland and I'm sure will do well in other theme parks. It was very comfortable for me to push. Um, it pushed really smoothly. The handlebar height adjusts and it just overall was a wonderful stroller to have at the theme park. It retails for $2.99 and I hope that this helps you in your search for a great theme park stroller. Until next time!